whole world fear the Lord and let everyone stand in awe of him. For, he, for when he spoke, the world began. It appeared at his command. The Lord frustrates the plans of the nation and twisted all their shams. But the Lord plans stand firm forever. His intentions can never be shaken. What, what joy for the nations whose God is Lord. Whose people has chosen as his inheritance. The Lord looked down from heaven and sees the whole human race. From his thorn, he, he, ob he observes all who live on earth, he made their hearts. So he understands everything they do. The best equipped army cannot save a king, nor is great strength enough to save a warrior. Don't count on your war horses to give you victory. For all its strength, it cannot save you. But the Lord watches over those who fear him, those who rely on him, his unfailing love. He rescued them from death and keeps them alive in time of famine. We put our hope in Lord, in the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice. For we trust in his holy name. Let your unfailing love surround us, Lord. For our hope is in you alone. prayers are to the Thornton family but God wants you to know that this did not catch George by surprise because even in death that he is still God 
And he wants you to know that George knew that his time was near. And rest assured that George is in the hands of God. Rest assured, family, that better days are coming. Be assured to know that God is still on the throne. He wants you to know that he too is still God. Keep your hand in God's hand and keep your eyes on God. Don't turn away. Don't walk away. Don't turn away from each other. Draw closer to each other. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house, a many, many mansions. If it were not so, I would have not told you. I go there to prepare a place for you. And if I go, and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you for myself. I'm sorry. Check two. To me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give ye rest. Take my yoke upon you, and lean and learn of ye. For I am meek 
and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest upon your soul. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. May the Lord have a blessing to his word. Amen, church. Amen. Amen, church. Come on with me now, y'all. We know it's a homegoing celebration. We know. But we know, I heard my cousin, I, I met George a couple of times, but I know he wasn't no sad guy. I know he wasn't no Um, what I'm trying to say. I know he wasn't a down person. He wasn't a down person. So we need y'all to get with us now, okay? Amen. We're gonna make we gonna have a celebration Amen. today. Amen. We're gonna win some hearts, but we're gonna have a celebration today. Amen. Amen. I know it's majority family, but now we're gonna have uh, a str oh a prayer by um, Evangelist um, Francina Rutledge, and then we're gonna have a hymn by Nanette Walker. We're gonna come in that order. Let us bow our heads. Our Father in heaven, we just thank you, Father, for this day. For even while we're grieving, Father, we thank you because this is the day that you have made. We thank you, Father, because, God, you are the God of all flesh and the God of all comfort. You knew us, Father, even before we were formed in the womb. You knew our beginning, our ending from our beginning. For your word declares that our times and our seasons are in your hands. You knew that we'd be here this day to celebrate this homegoing service for George. And Father, we just give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. And Father, we're looking unto you. We're looking unto you from whence comes our help, O oh God. And Father, we're asking you to comfort Natalie. share. We're asking you to comfort her, God. Strengthen her, O oh God. Strengthen in her heart, O oh God. Let your strength be her everlasting arm, God, that she's leaning on at this time. And Father, we will give you all the praise and the glory. We ask you to touch James. We ask you to touch Sean and Makina. Those that were closest to him, his brother, his uncles, his father, his immediate family members, God. Whomever they may be, wherever they are, Father, we ask you to comfort them. Because, God, we know, God, that the times and the seasons are in your hands. That no matter what come may go, nothing takes you by surprise. And we give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory. Now, Father, we ask you, God, to let your Holy Spirit brood over this service. Touch the hearts. Convict our hearts. That at some point in time, we'll, come, we'll have to come this way. And we thank you, Lord God, that as you prick our hearts, oh God, to look unto you, we'll give you all praise, the honor, and the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, families and friends. How are you all doing this morning? I only met George when Natalisha and him would have a debate about trucking. That's the only time I really get into it. I really didn't get into conversation. I would just stand there and on the other end and just listen to these two. 
But they were saying the same thing. I would tell them that. You're saying the same thing. But I know that's just love when you're in a relationship. When you, that's your husband, that's your wife. And that's just the way that they were. It wasn't one call, it wasn't two. It was, it was four. But I love my cousin. And as I was called by my auntie to ask me to sing a song that I didn't really could sing that song. But while I was sitting on my couch on Friday evening, as I got home, a song came to me. Even though I know I was supposed to sing Tamla Man, Take Me to the King, I'm going to sing that song still. But I got this song that everyone can relate to. And if you know it, sing it. I had some hills to climb. I had some weary days. And some sleepless nights. But when I looked around, that was pretty innocent. Over me, over my life. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm nervous. My good days. I waste my bad days. I won't play. And when I thought of that, I said, he never complained about anything in his life. I never heard him complain, even when I was talking to him on the phone about his wife, about trucking, about his family. And that's, the, that's what I came up with, with that song. I don't know all of it, I just know a little bit of it. But I know that George, Brother George, is love. And you can tell just by what I'm looking at right here, right now. And I'm going to go ahead and sing my song that I was asked to sing. Now my mouth is dry. <laughs> and, mm, sorry. I got to get the lyrics, excuse me. Gonna play. Okay. Who fears I'm tired? Options of you. I'm trying to pray, but where are you? I'm more churched out, hurt and abused. I can't fade what's left to do. Truth is a way, no strength to fight, no tears to cry. Even if I try, but still my soul refuses to die mm -hmm. one touch will change my life take me to the king i don't have much to bring my heart is torn in pieces it's my offering upon your glory and sing to you this song take me to the king by playing these games we need a word for the people's pain so Lord, speak right now, let it pour like rain. Oh yeah, we're desperate, we're chasing after you. Oh, 
no rules, no religions. I made my decision to run to you, the healing that I need. Take me to the king. I don't have much to bring. My heart is torn to pieces. It's my offering. Lay me at the throne. Leave me there alone to gaze upon your glory and to sing to you this song. Take me to the To gaze upon your glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Heavenly Father. My love is with you, cuz. Take us to the king. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> if you understand the term, take me to the king. Hmm. Woo! I can church by myself. Hallelujah! I can church by myself. Yeah. When you understand, when you get to the other side, I want him to say, well done. Wonder. Ain't nobody. I, ain't nobody gonna mm. I want him to say well done Lawanda You want him to say your name Well done Good and faithful servant yeah. The king We talking about Jesus y'all yeah. I felt that Thank you lady Hi. No sir no, sir. No, 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 no. <laughs> sir! Because I got one of them in me. I don't know about y'all. But I want y'all to get with it. Clap your hands. Just clap. It'll make you feel better. If you don't understand, woo, if you don't understand, by the time this service is over, I promise you, you'll understand. What all that about, Wanda? <laughs> y'all know me. If I had it another way, I wouldn't be, y'all know me. This is not what Wanda had planned. Because <laughs> I was doing good when I was out there. I was doing fine. I was, I was comfortable just put it like that. But he came and found me. While I was high. While I was high. Listen. On weed. Sitting in my living room by myself. A lot of y'all know my story. A lot of you don't. But when you think of the goodness. Oh. When you think of the goodness of Jesus woo, and all he has done for you, my God, my soul, my soul, my soul, my soul cries out. Okay. All right. Woo. Please stop. Woo. Please stop. <laughs> okay, we're going to open up the floor, y'all. Woo, my God, my God.
Yeah, yeah. My God, my God, my God. Mm. Oh, my God, my God, my God. We're going to open up the floor for two-minute remarks. We ask if you come line up right here, all that's going to speak. Um, two minutes. Thank you. That's a request from the family. Amen. For all that don't know me, I'm Marquise. I'm now the oldest brother out of seven of us. And uh, I met George for the first time in Houston, Texas. I was traveling, working. He met me at a like in and out Burgers or somewhere. He pulled up, he had 10 on the windows, rolled them windows down, and I looked at him. And when I looked, I seen him, and we stared at each other. I said, man, you know, I didn't have all the hair then. I said, we kind of favor. He said, yeah, we do look alike a little bit, don't we? I said, well, what's going on with my sister? And he got out the car. You know, he had a little limp to his walk. And I said, oh, and you walk like my daddy. <laughs> I said, so she got her brother, kind of favor you, and you walk like daddy. I said, no, what gave me and daddy was her two heroes because she confided in him like she do us. You know, but other than that, he was a he was a great person, great personality, loved to have fun, and always smiled. Always had a smile on his face. He called me brother. Oh, I'm just trying to do this and try to do that. You know, it's hard for me because my trials and tribulations stopped me from growing up in the manhood like it's supposed to. Can you help me out? Tell me this. Tell me that. I said, Yeah, I can help you. I tell you, these some suggestions. And uh, and he take them. He rolled back with him. Some of the stuff I told him, I said, hey, you can try it if you want to, but it might not work. You know, I know my sister, you know, so don't listen to everything, you know, but I try to give you the best advice I can. But uh, other than that, though, man, George was a heck of a guy. He was a great brother-in-law to me, and, uh, and like I say, he, he rested now. Hey, it, it, and it hit him all of a sudden, but it got, wasn't no tubes running through him. Wasn't no pain, wasn't no hurt, wasn't no aches. He, he gone. He, he, you know, it's a lot of us that like to lead like that. Unfortunately, we ain't all we ain't all blessed to. But uh, with that being said, you know, God rest rest his soul and may he rest in peace. Amen. Uh, Amen. Do I gotta talk in the microphone? Yeah, that's streaming. It's streaming. Oh, okay. I hey guys. I just want to say this one thing about George. I didn't really know him too well. But the one thing I do know he did, he made Pee Wee happy. Pee Wee's ne ain't never seen her smile so hard. When she said she married that man, she smiled for days and the smile still, I see it now under there, I see it now. When I tell y'all, listen, that man was loved. When I say he was loved, he didn't even really know us too much. But he embraced everybody as he met us like we were his cousins, uncles, aunties, friends, everybody. It didn't matter who it was because when he married Pee Wee, he married the family. And I loved him just because my cousin loved him. Not only that, I loved him because he's a part of this family. No matter what you say or how you do it, he's always going to be a part of this family. And he's, it's, it's always going to be a story that's going to come up where you say, George said. <laughs> and that's all I want to say, y'all. Let the church say amen. amen. I always wanted to say that. <laughs> so... Uh, I know him by Georgie, okay? I met him by Georgie, because um, he was so nice, so gentle. Um, I wrote a little song, I got two minutes, so I'm gonna hurry up. Um, grateful, he was loud, all the Thorntons are loud. Uh, his thing was, I love you for that. Or for me, it was, hey, young lady. Um, 
I called him, like I said, Georgie. Um, but when I seen him, he was so big and warm and smile from East Coast to West Coast. Um, grateful. After I got to knew him, know him and all his trials and tribulations, he remained grateful. The house could be on fire. We could be on the Titanic. If Miss Sarita was okay, it was all right. If he had Sarita, Sarita, it was all right. He was grateful. I never met anybody so full of youth and grateful um, in my life. He simply uh, cherished every little bit of life all the way down to putting chips on your sandwiches, being able to go to Walmart, um, being able to get a slushy, some Copenhagen long cut from QT. <laughs> he was grateful. Um, when it came to me and my brothers, uh, he had an everlasting smile when he, when he spoke to us. It could be, it, it, it could be we in trouble, he gonna smile. We did something good, he gonna smile. He might not have had all the teeth, but he gonna smile. It was unmatched, unmatched. Uh, I didn't realize how close me and, George, me and Georgie really is until after um, hearing stories from families and everything. And uh, like, like y'all say, he wouldn't want us to be sad. He really wouldn't. Um, this is a day of celebration. And um, we are celebrating an enlightenment. The word I'm trying to find is enlightenment. Being able to understand knowledge, understand that he really is OK. Um, and we all gained an angel. So uh, closing. I'm going to sing a song, a little brief, just some real small, little hymn. Um, be encouraged, no matter what's going on, you make it all right, but you got to stay strong. Be encouraged. No matter what's going on, you make it all right, but you gotta stay strong. Um, his eyes is on the sparrow, y'all. It really is, and we got us an angel now, so y'all better stop crying. He not gonna like that, he up there with his mama. Dancing in heaven. Y'all better stop all this crying. It's tighten up. So, thank y'all. And thank you, Evangelist Francina Rutledge and Minister LaWanda Huff, for officiating this. And that is all. Anybody else? How everybody doing today? Everybody know my story with my dad and George like a father I had from George. George, I told you gonna get. I told him we're going to fight. God, so he, you know I don't cry. You know I don't do this. You know this. g dog. Y'all seen the car from the g dog. We don't do this. But George like a father I never had, even from him letting me get his car, wrecking it, <laughs> the Mississippi was lit, for him coming to my first fight, for him always encouraged me to fight. 
my, he can't, he can't do more fights than my dad did. Yep. Yeah. You got it. And I'm sorry. Like my sister said, you never appreciate him till you're gone. Because he was always encouraged me to do better. Mm -hmm. I try to get his ass to the gym so bad. I try to get him to the gym. I try to let him work out. He never listened, Vince, no. We try to get him health. I love that man so much. It's crazy. I love you, George. You always be in my heart. That's all I got to say. Is that it? Anybody else? Stand up. You can stand up where you at, or you can come to the front. You know. Streaming. Oh, the streaming. Come to the front then. When I first met George, Pee Wee and George was in a store. And I felt a beautiful vibe in him when I first met him. And she said, I just moved back to Georgia from Texas. I said, girl, you been in Texas? So um, I said, I'm going to New Orleans, girl, to get married. Why don't y'all come? It was that weekend. She said, we're going to try to make it, but they didn't make it. But what I want to say is from that day on, she said, let me introduce my husband to your husband. And from there, they clicked. And he's been in the family ever since. He, I never felt a bad soul in him. He was a beautiful person at all times. He talked to me about certain things and everything. I say, keep your head up and pray, you know. So all I wanted to just say that, for what I know of George, he had a good heart. He was a beautiful person. So I know he going to heaven, y'all. He going to heaven. He had a good heart. And I want the family to hold on to his changing hands because he gonna be all right. He gonna be fine. And we all got to think about getting our lives together and get saved. Amen. Because if we are not promised tomorrow. That's right. And we gotta think about it y'all. Cause we here today and be gone tomorrow. So everybody think about getting saved. Give God your life, whatever you're doing. Stop and give God your life. Amen. Hello, everyone. I'm Latreon. I'm George's cousin. I got a couple of stories. Vince and Terrell and George would be on the phone and call me, right? But Terrell would come make the call, my brother. I'm gonna answer the phone. <laughs> so George would call me and they had a bet. George, I bet she answered for me. <laughs> and George would call me and I'd answer the phone. Then my brother would say, man, you're not right. I said, Terrell, you don't want nothing. George called me, he needs something, something going on. <laughs> you know, I miss him. He said, um, he said, you can't beat me up now, cuz. He said, we were young, you used to push me in the bushes. <laughs> he said, I'm big now, you can't beat me up. I'm like, you go ahead and try me if you want to. <laughs> you know, 
And the last time we were together, we was on a, we was making a run. And we was leaving Arkansas. And I didn't get him nothing to eat. So now I'm in Missouri. I said, we're going to stop over here and eat. He said, oh, you think? <laughs> <laughs> and he, he said, Mama Jo wouldn't have made me wait that long. And that's my mother. <laughs> and she spoiled him. And all he wanted to do was every time he come to Dallas, just get him a Whataburger. He loved Whataburger. Thank you guys for loving my cousin and embracing him. And I appreciate it. <laughs> Amen. When she was standing up here, um, the lady, she, I don't know if y'all remember this, but my grandmama used to sing that song all the time. And it's funny that she said that in the same sanctuary that we buried her, that we did her home going in. Hold to his hand, God's unchanging hand. You get a hold to his hands, God's unchanging hand. You better build your hope on things eternal. Amen. Woo. Hmm. Shaya. Thank you, God. Woo. How am I? Hmm. As I was preparing for today, I called my cousin Thursday and I told her I can't come back out. Um I don't take it lightly when God put me up before his people. I take it very serious because I remember when I used to party and, you know, I would go out playing with God, get up the next morning in church, and they ask you to do the scripture. <laughs> and you like, what? Just got done partying. Par par partying. Partying, partying, partying. I mean, all of it. Y'all know how we do when we get together. It's nothing but a party for real. I just changed. I just changed partners. I'm still wonder. I just changed partners. I just can't do what y'all do no more. But I can hang. Cause through me, I know y'all gonna be saved. Huh? <laughs> I just keep living the life. I know that. Well, let's get to this word. <laughs> Woo, my God. 
Oh, they don't read it. Don't Y'all want to read? They don't read it. You don't have to read the obituary. Yeah, because everybody don't read that. Yeah, we can skip that part. Well, well, you can see we can't sing much, but he going to sing. Come, tell him, come here. Come on, sing this song for me. You can sing it with me. The part of the part of house. Okay. You ready? The part of house. Uh, in case house, the part of wants to put you back together again. You ready? I got it, okay. In case you have fallen by the wayside of life, dreams and vision shatter, you're all broken inside. You don't have to stay in the shape that you're in. The portal wants to put you back together again. Oh, the portal wants to put you back together again. In case your situation woo, has turned upside down, is now on the ground sing you don't have to stay in the shape that you're in oh the father wants to put you back together again oh the father wants to put you back together again <laughs> if we sing too much I get full because I know what it is to be put back together again <sighs> I know what it is. <sighs> Father God, I come to you as humble as I know how, Father God. Decrease in wonder, increasing you in your Holy Spirit, God. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of your heart, hey, by Shanda Dasi, be acceptable in thy sight. <sighs> you are my strength, you are my redeemer. Amen. So today, George gathered all of us here today. I have a friend, she's an older lady, and she always say, say thank you, Wanda. So today, everyone say, thank you, George. Thank you, George. Now, why are you saying thank me, George? Thank George, because he got you here today for a second chance. See Psalms 37 and 23 in the Amplified Version. The steps of a good and righteous man are directed and established by the Lord, and he delights his ways, bless his path. If he hadn't came through here, you wouldn't be here. If he hadn't came this way, you wouldn't be here. If he wouldn't have never met Nat, I know some of my family wouldn't have been here. But because you are here today, I heard my cousin say Wednesday, I heard her say, George really impacted my family. And she sat in the corner. I seen her cry a little bit. And she said, he really. And at the time, um, Jolita Popcorn was having a breakdown. 
And sometimes we don't know how death hits everybody. Let everybody grieve in their way. You know, we can't. If she want to come, she come. If she don't, you know. But if it hadn't been for George, you know, it wouldn't have been the impact. So now she may get a closer walk with God because she had questions. And maybe you have questions. The impact, the word impact means a forceful contact or onset to have a direct effect. He left his mark here on earth. Say thank you, George. Thank you, George. <laughs> Say thank you, Lord. Oh my. Thank you, George. Well, I have good news for y'all today. Romans 10, 9 through 10. Because if you acknowledge, we have a, my sister, my baby sister. <laughs> this is her favorite scripture. She said it was the only scripture she knew coming up. <laughs> and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised from the dead, you will be saved. You will be saved. As meditating, the God said, God said, all I want you to say, Wanda, is all I want you to preach or say today, it talk about is salvation. He said, he kept saying, I kept trying to get a, you know how we do, we want to word things right and stuff. But salvation, I can, I can teach that all day. Behold, God is salvation, Isaiah 12. He is my salvation. He can be yours today for eternity. God is your deliverer. No matter what storm you face, there is nothing stronger than him. There is nothing bigger than him. There is no bondage in him. No, no one outranks God. No one. I'm, I'm going to go real quick because I learned through the great Hezekiah Benton that it only takes seven minutes to get your point across. <laughs> it takes seven minutes. So I'm going I'm to ride it, okay? At the name of Jesus, every name will bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. When demons see the blood, hide I share ya. Jesus Christ, there is no escape. His blood washes you. His blood covers you. His blood makes you complete. He is your salvation. Jesus, the Christ, is your redeemer from sin. Well, wonder. Sin. It's so many different, when you read the Bible, it's so many different quotes that you may not get. It don't say sin all the time. But it say lawlessness, rebellion, transgression, offense, evil, miss the mark. And those are the words that describe things that are sinful. Now, when we talk about the law of God as the, as the standard that defines sin, it's important to point out that God's law is not arbitrary or random on the contrary, that the law is a reflection of God's perfect character. Romans 7 and 12, the law is holy and the commandments is holy, righteous and good. He commands, his commandments are always holy. If we love God, we'll keep his commandments. If we love God, we will also love the things that reflect God, not man. Man will fail you every time. Man will fail you every time. Well, the good news is, huh? the good news is, Isaiah 53 and 4. <laughs> Surely he has bared our sickness and carried our suffering. Yet, consider him plagued, struck him by God and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgression. 
He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought our peace, our peace, was on him. And by his wound, we are healed. All we like sheep have, gained, have gone astray. Everyone has turned to his own way. And Yahweh has laid on him the iniquities of us all. Amen. Amen. That's a quick, it ain't seven minutes. But today, my family, y'all don't have to stand up because we don't want nobody to be shame or embarrassed. But he said, if you be ashamed of me, I don't want you to be ashamed. But I want everybody to close your eyes. And I want everybody to repeat the repentance prayer with me first. Because today, George brought y'all here for a reason. I don't know if you saved. I don't know what your soul of salvation is. I don't know what you got going on. I don't know. I don't know. But I do know before you leave here today that you repeat this prayer with me. And then I'm going to lead you into Christ. Um, the um, okay repentance prayer everybody eyes closed Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father we come before you today, come before you today asking, for forgiveness asking for forgiveness and seeking your direction and, gu and, guidance. and, seeking your direction and guidance we will we know your word says Woe to, those Woe to those who call evil good, call evil good. And, good evil. and good evil. But that's exactly, but that's exactly what, we have done. what we have done. We have lost our spiritual, lost our spiritual. And, invert our values. and invert our values. We confess that we, confess that. we have ridiculed and absolute the truth and obsolated the truth of your word and called we have worshiped other gods we have endorsed perversion we have exploited the poor we have neglected the needy we have killed our own unborn. We have killed our own unborn. Search us, O oh God. Search us, O oh God. And know our hearts today. And know our hearts today. Try us and see us. Try us and see us. Be some wicked ways in us. If there be any wicked ways in us. Cleanse us from every sin. Cleanse us from every sin. And set us free. According to, your will. According to your will, I ask this, I ask this. In, your son, in your son, the living Savior, the living Savior. Jesus, Christ. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now the salvation prayer. Amen. Amen. We all saved now. Amen. Amen. Heavenly, Father, Heavenly Father, I come to you now. I know you as God, creator of the heaven and the earth. Heavenly Father, I confess that I am a sinner. I, that I, am a sinner. I have sinned against you. I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ, your son, Christ, your son on, earth, on earth was born, was born of the Virgin Mary. I believe that Jesus is the one and truly sacrifice for my sins. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and use my life as a willing vessel. Heavenly Father, I ask that my life will glorify you. Thank you. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, for my salvation, for my, salvation. 
my faith in Christ Jesus. The truth of the word in Jesus' name. Amen. You are saved. Amen. You are held accountable today. You are held accountable today for what you do after you leave here. Time is winding down. You know, my grandma been gone a long time, and she used to say that. It used to scare me, but time really is winding down. I'm almost 50. It's time out for playing. You either go be on this side or you go be on this side. You can't swim. What it say? You can't waver your faith. You either go stay in it, family, or you go be out there. Because it's going to come a time where you ain't going to be able to come in here and hear our words or even get a Bible. It's going to be a time. That time is winding down. So I, I, t I ask you to take it personally, what you said here today. I ask you to take to heart what was said today. It may not be much, but you say, <laughs> you say, now you got questions? I can answer them. My phone number's open. But I want y'all to know that time is winding down. It's time out for playing. Amen. Now I hand it over to the funeral directors. At this time, we ask that if you are a pallbearer, a uh, flower attendant, that you would go to the left hand side of the chapel. family is indeed grateful to each of you for the visits, phone calls, texts, flowers, cards, food, and the many other expressions of love shown during this period of bereavement. May God continue to bless each of you. At this time, we will turn it back over to Minister Huff. Quick announcement. Um, if I could have some ladies that would um, stay behind and go over next door and help put the food together. Amen. 